and sweet. Hey guys, I'm Jinx, and this is the Oddful Escape with Francis Vendetti's first show tomorrow evening at 8pm, the nephew of Johnson Vendetti. Alright. And there we are. I assume we're Francis. To strum a folk ballad about the toil of the miner's life. Old Square. Oh, it actually has... It actually... It's actually showing me PlayStation symbols. I'm, I've always been using a PlayStation controller, but it's always been Xbox symbols. Interesting. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't bad. Then again, I'm not good to play a folk anthem about the green acreage of Calypso, Colorado, Hold Square. <sighs> not feeling it either, huh? Oh, to shred a sci-fi guitar odyssey, hold square. Your look doesn't match your sound. Excuse me? <gasps> Excuse me? You dress like a drifter, but you sound like a space opera. Complete tonal disconnect. Gives me anxiety. Oh, sorry. That, that was... I'm, I'm usually much more serious. I play folk music. You look like you do. I mean, I'm trying to write for this show. My first show. Uh-huh. But after a while, it feels like I'm strumming backwards. And my mind wanders away. Where to? Planets without names, mid-nebula suspended in a sunbeam, the unfathom unfathomable depths of space. Mid-nebula, suspended in a sunbeam. Mid-nebula, suspended in a sunbeam. You seem a little lost, kid, which is good. I find lost young men are in the business of irrational and dangerous decisions. And that's a good thing? Wouldn't you agree? I'm not sure about dangerous, but I am irrational. I am the danger diabolic. Alright. Huh? Uh, I wasn't listening. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh. Uh, I wasn't listening. Excellent. I need you to accompany me to the summit on Leaf Road Ridge. I'm going to commit a crime. What's the crime? The best kind. Which is? The mysterious kind. Hmm, okay. Who are you? Who are you? I'm Violetta. 
All right. I can assure you there's nothing strange about me at all. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll do it. I knew you would. I literally couldn't choose another option, so... Yeah. Dope. <laughs> I get a feeling I'm going to be hearing that a lot. Oh, shit, I can walk. walk. Oh, I can jump. How did I jump? I can sprint? Alright. Can I... I cannot. Alrighty! The artful escape! Oh, you start sprinting. Alright. So far, so interesting. I don't even... Oh, no, we do know our name. We're Francis. Unless I've already forgotten that. And Violetta just recruited us for something, which is bound to be interesting. Scenic lookout. Summit of Leaf Road Bridge. The summit. Kids come here to hang out. At least, they used to. A lot of folks moving on from Calypso. Hmm. The summit. Kids come- A lot of folks moving on from- I guess it's Calypso is not what it used to be, huh? Is the impression I'm getting anyway. Holy shit, look at that tree in the background. Uh, now I can properly jump, nice. This is such a cool environment, dude. Jesus. And I play folk music, huh? Even though obviously we're more of a... <laughs> more of a spaced out kind of guy, so I, guess, I bet that's going to be an interesting development. Well, if you wanted a good setting for something, you sure as shit found it. Summit of Leaf Road Ridge. I'm sorry, who's singing? Where did this come from? After party. For your show. Rami's gonna move the crowd up here after the liquor license scratches. The skiffle band is playing. They really love skiffle, good for them. They're quite forceful with their opinions on skiffle. I'll give him a chance. I'll give him a chance. I'll give him a chance. Plug into the amp on stage. I'll patch you in. Is this your stuff? Of course not. Oh. Alright. Alright, I guess we'll plug in. Oh. Play a folk ballad. Okay. Stop! No Johnson Vendetti clone folk. Play the stuff from the lookout. Oh, no. Seriously? That's nonsense. Hey! When it comes to nonsense, I'm one of the greats. Play. Okay. Sure. Hold <laughs> square to wail. No, not that one. Play again. Excuse me? That's worse than the first one. Okay, I guess we'll try again. Bonanza. That's it. Okay. Oolsies. 
What are you taking? Nothing. Are you sure about that? Pretty sure you just took something. Valves. Hmm. Later. Wait, is this Rami's stuff? You're stealing valves from Rami? Yeah, so? He killed a man in Boulder. Everyone says so. Punched him in the neck. I know. I'm Francis. Francis Vendetti. I know who you are, kid. I saw the flyers. There's a very tiny picture of you on it. I never signed off on the flyers. You ever made it to the top? Been too scared to try. To the top of the tree? Oh, hello there. <laughs> Whoa, it's beautiful. Yeah, you could really kill yourself from up here. True, true, true. You shred pretty well for a folk singer. Thanks. So, you're standing in the shadows of Johnson Vendetti, huh? He's my uncle. That must suck. It ain't so bad. It's just that, I guess folks think they know who I am. Where I should be going. Hmm. Have you considered becoming someone else entirely? How do you mean? Might tell you about it someday. I gotta scram. Stay weird, kid. <laughs> hey! All right. Will I see you around town? You know Lightman's in Calypso? In Calypso? There's no such place. Maybe you're not looking hard enough. Lightman's. All right. Someone else entirely. Yeah. Stop being Francis Vendetti and start being... Whoa, ho, ho, the artful escape! Okay... If Rami finds out I was up here when his gear got stolen... Well, I'd rather not think about it. I'm gonna book it back to town and forget the whole thing. I don't think you should forget the whole thing. More just conveniently forget you were witness to a crime. Annapurna Interactive presents a game by Beethoven and Dinosaur. With Michael Johnson, Caroline. Kinley? Lena Hetty. Jason Schwarzman. Mark Strong. Holy shit, look at that. And Carl Weathers. Carl Weathers? Where do I know that name from? Huh. Alright. I have no idea what to expect. Welcome to Calypso. Home of Johnson Vendetti. Wow, alright. So he's, he's the big thing here. Interesting. And I, I'm guessing the music that's playing 
constantly, even now in the background, is, is Johnson Vendettis. Once in fashion. There are, yeah, flyers and posters of him everywhere. Yeah, and there with the tiny picture of us, which you can't even see. Intergalactic and interstellar law. Alright. Francis! You little bastard. Come to me, my love. Okay. Goldie! You lose it? <laughs> oh, perhaps a bit. I have a ticket to your recital. Got a lot of new material. Probably an album's worth. I think when you're beneath those lights, I might catch a glimpse of my old friend. Oh, Goldie, I don't think... You look like him, you know. Your uncle. I know, Goldie. I really do. I'll see you tomorrow night. Alright. Yeah, the big show's tomorrow night. What happened here? I think this place used to be a watchmaker. Undeniably haunted. Possible hub of underage drinking. I agree to both accusations. I think this place used to be a watchmaker. Un it's undeniably haunted. General store. You don't look too good. Ah, uh, yeah! Man of the hour! Hey, Tao. Yo, I've never seen so many people in town. Yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> you listen to that record? Yeah. I kind of loved it, actually. Now that surprises me. What with you being a, a serious folk musician? Yeah, can't be serious lately. Keeps spacing out. I'll catch you later. Ever heard of... Ever heard of Lightman's? You ever heard of Lightman's? Mm. Junk sci-fi movie. It's not a movie, it's a place. <laughs> it ain't in this dead end. Hmm. Yeah, can't be serious lately. Keep spacing out. You gotta let it happen, man. Play blues, play funk, blow minds. <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's see what I can do. Holy shit, hold up. Is that a 50... No, it's a 50 cent special on milk. I'm sorry, I, I just thought it was dollars. No, 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 it's it's point five. Jesus Christ. Catch you later. I'll catch you later, Tao. Busy day. Oh, I'm preparing to sweep. <laughs> You're preparing to, huh? Alright. Well, it's sold out? Damn. Michelle's restaurant. Oh, wow. Calypso is usually much quieter. Gets quieter each summer, the old folks say. People are here for the anniversary of my uncle's album, Pines. It's kind of like a festival. Everyone's pretty excited. Hmm. Calypso is usually gets quieter each summer. The old people are here for the anim. It's kind. Everyone's pretty excited. So they're not here for you. I guess it's just good timing that your show is at the same time as the f the uh, the anniversary. But your show is in fact sold out. The Johnson Vendetti Festival ends tomorrow night. Finale is at the Salty Seagull, where Johnson Vendetti's nephew will take the stage for the first time. Hmm. That's me. That is you. And I wonder what you'll do on stage. The Salty Seagull. Yeah, so this is with a... Uh, you hi. avoiding me, son? No, Rami, no. I find you very intimidating. What am I doing, Francis? You... I have no idea. I'm smiling. You are? That's it. And when I'm smiling, you know I don't mean nothing shady or untoward. 
Mm, sure. I mean, honestly, everything about you from that expression, clothing style, and way of speech just screams friendly. Despite the gravity of the words I might be speaking. Right. We got a full house tomorrow night. My face is friggin' hurting. I'm smiling so much when I say... You will play songs exclusively from the personal repertoire of your uncle. Or you will misplace teeth. Well then, I suppose we have an accord. And make sure you show your face at the after party, huh? Okay, not the biggest fan. Not the biggest fan. Yeah, if I get a choice, I'll choose to not do what he just threatened us to do. Maps of imaginary countries? <laughs> what? Cafe, uh, cafe cliche. Cafe cliche. Cafe cliche. Their pastries are in the shape of a villain's gnarled grin. <laughs> Alright. What's it say? Ah, if, if we could zoom in somehow, I'm sure cafe we could- Cafe cliche. Oh. They're I'm sure we could, uh, oh, I can move with the D-pad, interesting. I'm sure we could read it, but oh well. Well, hold on. I want to keep looking around. Mmm, look who's come wandering by. Hey, start blowing trumpets, lads. It's Francis Vendetta. <laughs> Fern, Lonnie, Angus. Your show is sold out. You know that? Mm hmm. Yeah, I saw the posters. Mm, there better be some skiffle in your show, Vendetti, for your sake. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm just telling you, because I'm your pal. Skiffle? Like jazz with pots and pans? Watch your mouth, Vendetti. The Beatles had skiffle roots. It's coming back in a big way. Hotter than folk music tell you that for free. All right. Skiffle is the way of the future. Don't get left behind. I'm... I was willing to give you guys a chance, but, you know, you need to meet me halfway here and just at least not be dicks. Post off. Oh! Hey, old fella. It's a dog! You can pet the dog! <laughs> we just pet a dog! Nice. And there are some birds. Goodbye, bluebirds. It's a sight, make no mistake, I have a dream where I swim up that waterfall. I love this place, but it's killing me. It's a sight, make no mistake. I have a dream where I swim up that waterfall. I love this place. But it's killing me. Something tells me we won't be here that much longer. Alright, uh, I guess we'll head up. Listen to the, the fucking music being... Like, it's either playing in our heads or it's broadcast all over town. Also, I know you noticed it, but how cool is this detail? That it... It sinks down when we step on because of the weight. How fucking cool is that? Alright. Uh... Hi? What have you come as? Zombie Vendetti. That is in poor taste. <laughs> yeah, it is. Hey, Zombie Vendetti. All right. <laughs> it's just a bunch of people chilling. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, I, I get the picture. Everybody's here for for Johnson Vendetti, not for us. Fairy Floss, Patent Office. Dude, all right. 
Hey, you're Johnson Vendetti's kid. Nephew. Sure, whatever. I saw the Flyers free show, man. I probably won't check it out, though. Okay, whatever. Don't mean nothing nasty, honestly. I'm sure you're a good kid. But you've got no chance. Of what? Johnson Vendetti was a folk mastermind. Once in a generation. And genius ain't hereditary, kid. Well, always nice to get the thoughts of an industry heavyweight. <laughs> yeah, thank you for those motivational words. <laughs> industry heavyweight, nice. Um, experts in disappearing completely. What? The fuck? What is this building? Cellar get? Experts in disappearing completely. Okay. Grun... Grun... Grun and sons and sons. Banking, loaning, foreclosing. Cassandra, you're leaving? What happened? Intrigue, laser lights, shops disappearing in the night. Excuse me? I won't put up with it. Who's got lasers? Don't mind all that. I'm leaving. Aren't you sad? Cassandra, I'm devastated. Yours is the only shop I bother to steal from. <laughs> lies, lies. You can come visit me down the road in Donnybrook. Here, choose a book. From me to you. Sci-fi dribble. Just how you dig it. All right. Oh, my... Mouse cursor, the fuck? Morbid, uh, psychedelia? A scientist poisons his town's water supply to appear to them as an alien being. Wings of Orion. A king disguises himself as a piece of overcast sky. Velc Velochrome. Using an illegal avatar, a mutant rises through the aristocracy of a cyber city. Alright. Let's go Velochrome. Whoa. 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 Well, aren't you gonna thank me? I'm sorry. I think I was having an epiphany. Well, savor it, my friend. What I wouldn't give for a good epiphany. <laughs> hey, you ever heard of a place called Lightman's? Francis, I don't think you want to be... <clears throat> what do you mean? Actually, no. Never mind. I've never heard of it. Uh, see, now I doubt that you're telling the truth. Now run along. Go practice. Get out of here. Go practice. All right. Plant page. Expensive books. Minimal security. <laughs> the only shop you bother stealing from. At least it used to be. <laughs> Choose your own adventure. Ah, oh, that is that is disgusting. Also, there's a circus. We've seen these flowers a couple times now in the background. So I'm wondering what that's all about. Let's see here again. Oh, I never recognize anyone who eats here. Probably a hub for time travelers. Hmm. Sure. So I guess it's a restaurant, a diner, or something. Um. Hi. Um, hello? Francis Vendetti, the pleasure's all mine. What? Mayor Swartz here. What? How did you know? I like to have my ear to the ground, my boy. Felt the vibrations. Ready for the big show? Uh, it, yeah, just rounding off the corners. Excellent, excellent, really. The town's counting on you, son. What with businesses closing up, low voter morale, mayoral corruption.
Sure. Excuse me? Haven't you been the mayor for like 12 years? And a series of unexplainable <laughs> events that have no basis in fact whatsoever. Okay. You can put them right out of your head. Unexplainable events? I shouldn't speak about it over the phone. All I'm saying is this. Your show's important, Vendetti. There's a lot of folks out there counting on you. Wow. Okay. Don't cock it up. Oh, I'm gonna do just that. See, now you've got me intrigued, motherfucker. Also, we, we should maybe give these two some privacy back here, right? Eh? Now you've got me intrigued. What the fuck? I'm, dude, if I get the chance between space opera and folk music, I'm choosing space opera. In this case. So... Yeah. I guess nothing to look at here, other than the ridiculous scenery, which makes me very much so believe that Calypso isn't a real place. <laughs> Through the looking glass. Uh, is every shop here just titled something interesting? Everybody needs glasses. Everyone. Wait, does literally everybody wear glass? Holy shit. You are right. Ev everybody here needs glasses. Hey, Lucy! Hi, Lucy. <sighs> I'm supposed to tell everyone we got Johnson Vendetti's 20th anniversary release of Pines in stock. I've got a copy, Lucy. The folk masterpiece. The voice of an American generation, or whatever. 12 million copies sold. Okay, yeah. Lucy. You got any records by people pretending to be someone else? I mean, sure. You got Captain Beefheart, Legendary Stardust Cowboy. Oh, Hank Williams pretended to be a character called Luke the Drifter. <laughs> Hank Williams? Really? Why would he do that? To say stuff he couldn't say as Hank Williams. Whoa. You okay? Yeah. I keep spacing out. You know what's nice? The first epiphany was when we read a story about somebody use about a mutant about somebody disguising himself to, to rise through the ranks. The second one is to be pretend to be someone else to say stuff you can't say as yourself. Can you guess what direction this is going to? Become somebody else entirely? You ever heard of a place called Lightman's? A place called Lightman's? Mm, no. You want me to check out back? Nah, got a feeling you won't find it. You coming to the show? I'll go to the show. Not going to the after party. You don't like the skiffle band? They're like, Jimmy Page started in Skiffle. Yeah, <laughs> everyone loves Jimmy for his Skiffle. Exactly. Thanks, Lucy. Alright. See you at the show. See you there. Countdown. Oh, vinyl count. The vinyl countdown. Alright. I wonder if we get to choose who we become. Or if Francis chooses himself. My place. Childhood home of Johnson Vendetti. Oh, of course. It's a shrine. And a tomb. My place. It's a shrine. And a tomb. Hmm, so we can go in. Alright. Hold up, though. Of course, our home is his old home. Literally everything about our life is just in his shadow. So, this is going to be about us becoming our own person. Alright. 